Now, talking about freedom of expression, uh, Dr. Dyer, who is bankrolling you? <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, I, I, I personally also ask uh, Ladoja uh -huh. that, come, you are so ugly, you are, you are not even brilliant. And the man said, ah, ah, yes, I'm ugly. But go and ask my wife. I didn't toast them mm -hmm. until today they are still with me. Okay? Yeah. I said, yes, I know I'm not brilliant. But go to this also school. That school is the, one of the best in Nigeria. And I pass through that school. Then go and look at my businesses. I use this, my dollar's brain, to build them. And that is uh, between Wali Lari Ujo and uh, Lado yeah, some times ago. And you see, that man did not shout. That is to tell you his upbringing. That is to tell you his background. All right? That is to tell you, that is to tell you his leadership traits. Okay? But when you see some other people running mouth, go and check where they are coming from. I'm not mentioning names now. But people... If you see the two of us now, we are wearing white. Mm -hmm. You know that we are friends. Mm -hmm. Check our check our background. You know that maybe somewhere, somewhere, these guys must have been doing some things together. Those people too that have quashio called mouth, go and check their background. Look at where they are coming from. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see, I always tell people when you say somebody is bad, don't just blame that person. Uh, sorry, let me say this in, in uh, Yoruba for us to. I know it's a pretty. Why are you speaking? I will interpret it. Okay, interpret it. In the kitchen, they will say, I'm not going to. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not going to die here. Oh, Abba. Okay, me. Oh, oh, me. Oh, oh, Sale. That is to say, what you are. What, where you are going? You are going on a, a, a faulty mission. Do you understand? Yeah. But they are not. They are not asking. That's what has prompted that man to be going on that route. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. So before you blame anybody that is harassing the journalist, first of all, look at the background of that person. That is one. Two. On the journalist part. On the journalist part, I want to blame any journalist who is around his co-fellow. That is being harassed, and you cannot join hands to defend that person, and you are still standing. They are not there because of what? Still on journalists, when the owners of newsprints, both uh, electronics and whatever, when you are not taking good care of your staff, that is what you will be receiving. Because if you, sir, I know some people. In fact, a friend, a, 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 an Oyibo friend in the U.S. who is an analyst. is an analyst. The wife is also an analyst. Analyst, not working, no. Analyst. That's what they do. You should see the way they are living. They are living fine. Okay. All right. Like, all right. You see, stop. He mentioned, somebody mentioned it now. Yeah. So let then anybody, any politician, any sport, any UJ should listen to this. Any politician or any so-called leader that harasses your member you should cease desist from attending such person's uh, programs they let us see we carry the news well however many you have also followed your 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 own lead as we know that due to the rank that happened well a former minister of aviation a former minister of aviation and of course journalists attracted um, the word rank ruling now attracted lots of um, verbal words and exchange of words now just to make it clear bank rolling means that uh, when or rather bank rolling means to support a person organization or project to support a person organization or project financially mm. the project is for example the project is ba is bankrolled mm -hmm. by financial by well-being expert mm. yes. so now um Tony, Tony White, I know you're also a journalist now did you see any fault in the journalist asking that question I see no fault in the general and in, in the journalist question the reporter asked a question journalists are designed to ask and uh, ask questions it behoves on you to answer that question and not to result to insult. The moment you do that, the moment you veer off, it means that that question get, get, got you. It means that question is apt, correct. It just touched you. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that's what happened here. And uh, being a former minister, it, you know, it, it gives you an idea. It gives you an idea on why Nigeria is where we are today. The kind of people mm -hmm. who rule over us. Mm. Assuming him 
being the president of Nigeria. Just imagine, mm. imagine him being mm. the president of Nigeria. What we what will get, mm. what Nigeria will look like. Mm. It's simple. He lost his school. Mm. He failed that test. And he has been doing all this, which came up in the week. Yeah. He's been doing that. And, which, and I can imagine the ones he would have done as a minister under Obasanjo's just government. Mm. So that tells you the kind of government you've been running for a while now. Answer the question. What people expect from you was humility, mm. diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Like Ladoya. Man, there's no... Oh, bankrolling. Don't, don't worry. Am I not big enough to bankroll it? There's a way you throw the question back at him. You don't need to do all that. But because of the arrogance of him. Mm. I saw a lot of arrogance. Mm. And he lost it. And he lost it. And then the next day, I was expecting to... Okay, and then he came so he's, only, he's only going to remove the word stupid. Mm. Very garrulous. And then I watched that video over and over again. And I think the CPS to the governor um, across the state was, was telling him, I told you, when the minister left, he was telling the journalist, I told you, I told you, like, your mouth will put you in trouble. That's the and he's a journalist. Question. Yes. I think Christian Itar, the, the, the chief, chief press secretary of government. You see that? What you see that? You see the that? end of it. You see that? And what are we talking about here? Mm. He was a journalist with his state. Mm -hmm before he went to cross the state to serve as CPS. So when politicians, when you open that, that, that barricade, that protective gear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that okay. gives you respect before the politicians and you expose yourself, you made, you made yourself vulnerable. Okay, you can't right. you anything because all I right. respected them at that spot. Thank you, Tony. Unfortunately, so, so you, Tony. Sorry, I have, I have to call yeah. you there. Unfortunately.